right, the final part for 5-5-A, and it's a paper clip. It's another practice uh, part. Whoops, I hit the wrong button. Let's open projects, not work samples, excuse me. Uh, projects, get the project browser open. And uh, Matt, you know what, you know what, hold on. We're going to do this for the first time, even though I've said it the other five times that we've opened a new part. Standard.ipt, but let's go ahead and select the project. All right, let's go ahead and select our practice project, and then create. Okay, it's a lot easier. All right, so we're going to create a paperclip, and the way we create a paperclip is we're going to use a function called the sweep function. Now, the sweep function is different than uh, than a few of the other things that we're going to be making because the sweep function requires two sketches to use. Uh, it requires what's called a profile, and then it requires what's called a path. So think of the path as where the profile is going to create, you know, and that's why you know, the paperclip is the easiest way to kind of model what this is going to look like. So. What we have to do is we have to kind of just do an overall sketch. Now, we're not going to really dimension this um, in any way. Um, we're actually just going to do a series of arcs and lines. So I'm going to do a uh, center point arc here. We're sort of like the outside edge here. And we'll go all the way around, half point. Let's get that in view. And let's get a line on here. And your paper clip obviously will vary from my paper clip, and I'm not even going to put dimensions on here just to emphasize that you don't have to. All right, center point, line up those centers. Okay, uh, not, I take that back, not going to line up those centers. I'm going to make it so it's not quite lined up with this because I don't want this to turn as much. So let's go here and there. Okay, that's good. Okay, another line. Make sure, make sure when you're creating sub subsequent parts that you are not um, uh, that you are making them coincident. Okay, now this one here, this one is a uh, slightly, uh, is it? Uh, yeah, we'll go like that. Okay. Again, there's really no hard, oops, of course I created a circle. Whoops. Thanks for telling me. <laughs> um, I forgot what I was saying before, but that's that. Alright, one more line to finish off this paper clip. Alright, good. Okay, so finish the sketch. There's our profile. Sorry, I take that back. There's our path. All right, we got the path. Your paper clip will vary. Of course, your paper clip probably will look better than mine. All right, now here's what we're going to do. We're going to create a work plane. And we're going to create that work plane. And we're going to select the end point right there. You see how it kind of gets it right there, right? Now let's go ahead and create a sketch on that, on that work plane. Okay. Uh, Notice that we, it kind of turns our path sideways, right? But that's the point that we created the work plane on. We're going to create a circle, not a big circle. That's good. Okay, finish the sketch. That's it. All right, that's not the point I wanted. I'm going to try that again. Let's undo that work plane. Where is my work plane? Finish the sketch. Work plane. Point. I got to select the point again. Ah, that's what I forgot. I forgot to click twice. Silly, Mr. Robert. Now create a sketch on the work plane. I said, okay, there it is. And there we go. That's what we're looking for. That's the point the work plane is centered on. I'm going to create a circle and make sure that it's coincident with that point. And make it small. It doesn't have to be too big. We don't want it to be too big that it would intersect or hit each other on here. This should be okay. Let's find out. So here we go. Our, we're all set. We finished the sketch. We're out of sketch mode. Let's go to the sweep feature. And we have to select the thing, two items. It's already actually auto selected the profile. Let's go ahead and select the path, which is the paper clip um, here, which is this. And it looks all right. Looks like look like it did. the default. The the yeah, the default options are pretty straightforward. And there it is. That's it. That's all there is to it. That one I barely made that. Look at that. There's very little clearance between these two parts right there. But that's cool. That's it. So that's your practice part. That's your paper clip. Now all you have to do is just answer five five a conclusion questions and upload all of these screenshots to the LMS. Sorry to save the scariest statement for last. Um, pretty much, again, stick to no more than two screenshots. If all the features are visible on one screenshot, set one screenshot. Um, but that's it. And uh, I'll kind of echo those directions in class to you uh, in just a little while since I am recording this right before period three on Friday the 27th. Also, happy birthday to my wife. Okay, so uh, that's it. 5.5a is good. The next series of videos will hopefully not be introduced by, by videos that, by bells that are that loud. Have a nice day.